be in case you missed it this afternoon. Word that wide receiver Chester Rogers suffered a broken left knee on the team's opening drive yesterday. He joins a long list of receivers who have now missed time. So, enter some underdogs. Marcus Johnson has stepped up lately. And yesterday, introducing Ashton Doolin. Brad Brown with the Sports Extra Spotlight. Among the second half struggles and all of the injuries, there were a couple of solid positive takeaways for the Colts offense. Rookie Ashton Doolin made just one catch in Sunday's game, but his impact was clearly far more than the stat line offered. What was this like to just step into this role? Uh, it was big. Um, you know, to have Chester go down, unfortunately, uh, meaning to be a step up and come back in for the, for the offense is huge. Uh, just being prepared throughout the week and stay prepared and stay focused and really just do my job. Ashton Doolin came in there like, I mean, that, I mean, that's so impressive for him to just come in there and 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 do what he did, line up and like make plays. Doolin played at Division II Malone University, signed as an undrafted free agent this spring. Spent the first month of the season on the Colts practice squad, up to the active roster upon T.Y. Hilton's first injury. Just being able to adjust and uh, be able to play different roles for the team, what the team needs for whatever that game may be, and uh, just being ready if a guy does go down, we have somebody else to step up and take that place. Along with Doolin, the Colts will lean on second-year player Zach Paschal and third-year receiver Marcus Johnson to start making making more plays. The trio combined for a dozen catches in week 13. We all came out today, man. We just, you know, tried to fight, you know, to the end, you know, the best of our ability. But like I said, uh, when guys go down, it's, it's the next man up. And Ashton Dillon and Marcus Johnson came in today and played very well. Coach does a great job preparing everybody from, from the top, top receiver out to the bottom receiver, just having everybody locked in on the game plan. And that's what it was. And that's what might go down, next man step up. And that's what I did. A youth movement, perhaps, or maybe just the next set of great pass catchers for the Colts. Brad Brown, RTV6 Sports. And a follow along on the Colts playoff scenario. And currently, again, it's, it's not looking good whatsoever. On the outside, looking at a full game back at the Steelers, who, of course, the Colts lost to last month, so they lose the tiebreaker in that scenario. Four games remain. Colts will have to win out to have any chance of making the postseason.